Hello friends. So in this series of video, we are going to start from a very basic of density functional theory. So uh, here we will not go into the details of derivation of everything, but we will discuss different useful concepts uh, such that uh, when you will perform your own calculation with a DFT package like uh, quantum expresso like this, then you can be able to understand what you are doing. So we all know that uh, quantum mechanics is extremely effective to explain our surrounding and universe with an impressive level of accuracy. So let us see how we can apply quantum mechanics to our problem. So let us imagine a situation where we would like to describe the properties of a, some uh, well-defined collection of atoms. So for example, let us consider a zinc oxide uh, crystal. So here we have zinc and oxygen atoms. For each atom, the first uh, most fundamental thing we would like to know about is their energy. And uh, then the second most important thing we would like to know about is how the energy of this atom is going to change when we are going to apply any external uh, perturbation to it like if the uh, atom get displaced from its original position get it move then how the energy of the um, atom is going to change so to proceed with this problem first we have to define the position of our atom so to define the position of our atom we have to define the position of electrons and nuclei so then when we try to implement uh, quantum mechanics to our uh, atomic system then we can take uh, account of this observation like uh, we know that uh, from the observation of our atom that means electron and nuclei we know that our uh, proton and uh, neutron in a nucleus is like 1800 times uh, heavier than electron so if we try to understand this uh, as a classical picture so if we two particles interact in some way in uh, one is much heavier and another is uh, like uh, a light particle then the light particle will uh, behave or move especially as a slave of the heavy particle so that means this light particle will simply follow the heavy particle wherever it goes so and it will move uh, rapidly in response to the heavy particle motion so it's like if a heavy particle move a little bit then the light particle will move significantly so if you look at the quantum picture and if you try to solve the time independent Schrodinger equation for this uh, electrons and nuclei then uh, we can found that the wave function will be very diffuse and delocalized for uh, light particles like electrons so which is given uh, below the axis of the of this picture and uh, heavy particles that is uh, nuclei so in that case the wave function will be very localized about the classical positions so from these two and uh, uh, throughout this discussion we found that like um, for a external perturbation both this electron and uh, nuclei are going to behave totally differently because of their uh, um, difference in mass so taking consideration of this uh, uh, observation we can uh, split uh, our uh, problem into two part like one for electronic so we can write a so we can solve our problem for electronic case and another for uh, nuclear case so if we first if we uh, look at the uh, electronic case like if electron is moving uh, uh, in the presence of nucleus so here we are considering nucleus as a rest because the motion of the nucleus is, is uh, negligible as compared to the motion of the electron so then in that case we know that the state of the electron is in the ground state and corresponding energy is the ground state energy so this idea was uh, implemented by uh, Born and Oppenheimer so this is approximation so for nuclei case they told that if uh, in a nucleus there are m number of nuclei and with position r1 r2 uh, and so on then the ground state energy uh, will be a function of the position of the nuclei so this function is known as adiabatic uh, potential energy surface of the atoms so since we are uh, able to calculate this potential energy surface now we can tackle the original problem um, that we have discussed in the starting part of this video like uh, how the uh, energy of the material will change if we uh, change the position of the atom from its uh, mean position so i hope you find this content to be useful and uh, Bye.